Hello everyone, this is Daisy here, AK Professional High Priestess, and as you can see, I'm back home. Um, I had a lot of fun. I was gone for 21 days. I went to uh, three different states. I was going to go out of the country, but, you know, because of everything that's going on, um, I decided to stay, as I told you guys in, like, the little channeling that I got, right? Anyways, I wanted to drop this channeling. I guess you'd call it a karmic channeling because... Right now, we are entering the season of judgment, heavy judgment, right? From current lives, from past lives, from the choices that we decided to make, from our affiliations, right? And the lack thereof, okay? Because right now, there is a losing team and a winning team, okay? A lot of us didn't even know that we were playing a game, right? Judgment is coming down for those who have um, basically aligned themselves with low vibrational and dark forces throughout many lifetimes, whether they knew it or not. That judgment is now uh, coming upon them in this very moment. So I say that to say I got a channeling that, you know, for a lot of y'all, because of this judgment that's going to be coming down, um, a lot of people right now are going to be looking for like help. A lot of people are going to be suffering. A lot of people, unbeknownst to you, you know, they created their own suffering. You know, a lot of people um, also are inheriting, you know, the karma from their ancestors and their family. And that's why they are presently suffering and also being um, caught in the crossfire of the collapse of the system, which I'm going to do a whole other video about. So I wanted to put this channeling out there because at this time, there's going to be a lot of people coming like, hey, can you help me with this or can you do that? And you're going to be compelled to like want to donate or want to help or want to get involved. But just know that as you get involved with their energies, you will also be reaping their karma, right? You are not to interfere or intercept these individuals getting their karma. It's a part of their lesson and it's a part of their process. And for a lot of us, it may be, this may be like one of the hardest things to do. I know it is for me because... I have a Virgo stellium and, you know, we're all about helping other people, the caretaker, the nurse, that whole thing, right? And it's been a process for me in really learning how to let other people, like, handle their own business and step out of the way and step to the side as, you know, the ancestors in the universe are exacting judgment on these individuals. And for some of us, you know, these people may be our friends or our family and we're like, oh my goodness, you know, how can I just leave them out in the cold like that? It's not about leaving them out in the cold. It's about you have to let them learn their lesson. And that learning, letting them learn their lesson is also allowing you to learn your lesson about boundaries, right? And about the transference of energy throughout lifetimes, right? And what that does. And also about, you know, staying in tune spiritually with the ancestors that you work with, with the uh, deities um, and the universal uh, guides that you may deal with, right? Because a lot of us, you know, um... We suffered a lot. <laughs> we dealt, we had to go through a lot of trials and tribulations to get us to the point where we are divine, where we are now reaping our good judgment, where we are now reaping good karma and seeing the benefits of, you know, staying close to the most high, doing the things that we're need needing to do, prayer, meditation, helping other people, etc. A lot of those individuals, they did not do that. Or if they are actively doing that and you still see them experiencing karma, there's something, there's a term in the Buddhist tradition that's called bodhisattva. And these bodhisattva people, they're supposed to, their job is basically to go into hell and to help bring people, people out. Now, some people, they are kind of in that uh, hell state because for many, many lifetimes, they did not learn their lesson. So this lifetime, they probably were like, oh, you know what? Let me give back. Let me do service. Let me be a better person. Yes, and at the same time, too, there's still that karma from past lives that need to be worked out. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm being told. And I'm being told that for many of y'all, um, this can be regarding your masculine or your feminine. Stop. I feel like a lot now this is a time for us to have head over heart decision making, especially with uh, Saturn being an Aquarius and all that energy being in the air, right? Probably, properly using our intellect and not letting our emotions and our traumas and our attachments get us involved with people, places, and situations that are on the downhill um, aspect and who align themselves with low vibrational energies, okay? Um, I want to say this because, like, I got an email from a, a, a viewer, and I'm not going to put them on blast, but... Um, they were asking me about, you know, some insight and some support around a situation. And, you know, they've constantly been dealing with this year after year after year. And I honestly, I couldn't even get involved in that. My ancestors literally were like, don't support that person. Don't get involved because they had ample opportunity to stop. Now, another thing too is, um, with that also being said, right? Because we are in the season of judgment and being mindful about the people that you get yourself involved in and who you give your resources, your time and your energy to, because the Most High gave you that, right? So for you to go ahead and give that to an individual who has not been in alignment with the Most High for many lifetimes or, or in this lifetime, etc., 
is you basically telling the most high, like, I'm not valuing what you give me because I'm, I'm giving it to individuals who subconsciously I know. And because I'm not using my discernment, right? I know that they are not deserving of me helping them. Don't let people guilt trip you either. I feel like at this time, uh, uh, that's gonna, a lot of that is gonna be in the air. Okay. So do we need any cards? Do we for this channeling? I got the after tarot deck. I'm excited to use that with y'all. So dear Brian, we loving ancestors. What messages do you have regarding this judgment season? It's been heavy. It's been so heavy. Whew. What messages do you have for this judgment season? Um, what messages do you have regarding this judgment season and helping others who are under judgment? Whew. It's like, uh, cause you know, someone's sinking and it's like, um, someone doesn't know how to swim. AKA they don't have, they're not connected to divinity. They don't know, so they don't know how to swim in these waters that are going to be rushing in. So they see you with your life jacket and you're just chilling and you're, you're doggy paddling and you're, you're getting closer to shore and they pull on your leg to try to, Oh, I want to come with you or drag you down. It's, you're going to have to like shake that person off and just keep it pushing. You see what I'm saying? Because if not, then you're going to drown with them. What messages do you have for us, for us currently experiencing judgment season? What messages do you have for us in this judgment season? I'm glad I stayed in my lane for real, for real. That's all I can say about that. Being a loner is like protection. Real talk. Rejection is protection. Being a loner is protection. I can entertain myself. I can do bad, 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 bad. All by myself. You see what I was saying? And you want to see what's at the top of the deck. Strength, resistance, willpower, right? Now, another thing that I see at the bottom, at, the, sorry, at this, uh, the cards that came out, is we have the Six of Swords here. Movement forward. Movement away from a tumultuous situation. What was I just talking about? This is also like spirit guides to me too, the Six of Swords. So... This is exactly what I was saying. A lot of people are going to be coming to you. Can you help me do this? Can you, you know, can you support me with that? Oh, oh, you're greedy or, you know, you have more. Don't get into that. Six of Swords in the reverse too is also feeling guilt, you see? So this card is also coming out here as well. With the Strength card, I feel like this is saying resist temptation, resist pride and ego because I feel like another thing too for some of us, like helping other people or succumbing to the will of other people or that type of thing is something that we really need to work on. It's kind of like a um, lack of boundaries is what I'm hearing. So this strength card is saying, you know, tighten up your willpower, get yourself together and resist, you know, the guilt tripping. And uh, I'm not saying don't feel bad. I'm not saying don't feel empathy and don't feel sympathy. But at, at the same time too, at a certain point, there's a certain like level that it's like, okay, you know what? Like you cause that problem for yourself or there's something else going on here that I'm not privy to. And I've kind of noticed that there's a pattern with you. So let me just kind of take a step back, right? Messages for the collective regarding judgment. Oh, five of pentacles. Yeah, five of pentacles here. Out in the cold. And this is exactly what I was saying with some of you who get in bed with these karmics, you're going to be experiencing loss. Like let's say for instance, someone who continuously, continuously, continuously engaged in abusive and toxic relationships. They say, oh, I want to come. Can I come live with you? Can I come stay with you? You're like, yeah. Oh, that's my cousin. That's my friend. I'm just going to let them stay. Then you get an eviction notice, you see, because they brought that karmic energy into your space. Now you're dealing with that karma, right? Because karma is an energy. You see what I'm saying? It is passed down via the DNA, via nature and nurture, which is the behavior. Okay. Clarify strength here. With the nine of swords. Whoo. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I knew I needed to do this channeling. Right? So with this Nine of Swords being here, this is all about like, I feel like this is saying, if you choose to get involved with those individuals, if you do not tap into your willpower, if you do not tap into strength, kind of like resisting, right? Needing to practice a little bit of selfishness, selfishness, focusing on yourself, you're going to be in the Nine of Swords energy. The funniest thing is I was talking to somebody about this the other day and she was just talking about how her family holds her back and da 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 and da 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 and I'm like, so why are you in entertaining them then? And she was saying that she has a child, you know, that she doesn't want her child to end up in poverty and da 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 dealing with her family. And I was even telling her, like, as I was sitting next to her, I was like, I, I feel the nine of swords coming if you do not move away with the six of swords here, the six and the nine Cancerian energy, right? Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. I, I, I read numbers like that too when I'm doing the cards. And I was like, I feel this, the nine of swords coming towards you if you do not, you know, move away from these individuals. And that's going to be their, you know, I would say karma to deal with for engaging in karmic energy. So that's literally what it is right now. 
So I just wanted to put that channeling out there. I hope you all enjoyed. If you need a personal reading, go ahead and check the description box below. Once again, my name is Daisy, aka Professional High Priestess. 